Today we're going to be taking a look at the elements that you should find in a perfect breeder for a Rhodesian Ridgeback. There are many components to look into when finding any breeder, but there are also specific thoughts for the Ridgebacks that are important to bear in mind. So let's get started and talk through some of these pointers. Welcome back to the Rhodesian Ridgeback Show. If you're new here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to teaching you everything you need to know about Rhodesian Ridgebacks. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss a future upload. Finding a breeder can be quite an overwhelming experience when scrolling through lists online and seeing all them gorgeous puppy faces staring back at you, especially when all these options are coming from people who you don't know. So to start off, remember that you don't need to make any decision straight away. If there is a breeder who wants to take a deposit or pressure you into picking your pup before you've seen them, that may be a bad sign of bad breeding as their focus will likely be on making money rather than giving the correct care for their litter. Although they will end up being more expensive, it's recommended to find a pup who has already been registered to the kennel club. This means that the breeders have proof that they have fulfilled the correct checks throughout the process, which will be a reassurance for you. Also, this registering has benefits for you as an owner. As well as other things, you have five weeks free health insurance for your pup and will also gain long-term access to a vast wealth of information specifically linked to Ridgebacks. I mentioned checks there, as there are health checks that should be completed by both parents and the pup within their litter to ensure that they, all hereditary conditions are properly cared for and you can be aware of any future possible health hiccups. This applies to all breeds, but there are certain checks that are specific to the Ridgeback which are important to be aware of. One of these is juvenile myeloclonic epilepsy. Both parents should have been scanned for this and we recommend you ensure to receive a copy of these clear scans. This epilepsy occurs in early age for pups and can really alter their well-being and quality of life in the long term. So this can really sway a decision in whether to take a pup home or not. Another check is for a skin disorder called dermoid sinus. This can be a tricky disorder to spot in a new pup. So it's recommended that at least two experienced breeders inspect each pup before selling them to make sure they're clear. As well as receiving all paperwork from a breeder, you will of course want to visit your new pup at least once before bringing them home. You're about to make a huge long-term investment, so there is no pressure to make a decision after one meet. A breeder should be happy to follow your lead. Multiple meets also ensure that you have time to talk through any questions or queries you have. When visiting, it's a great chance to see them with at least one of their parents to get a little more of a clear idea of their temperament. Seeing your new puppy play with their siblings and snuggle with their mum will give a glimpse into life when they're back with you and how they should be when they're settling into their new home. Meeting the mother will also help you see her health and happiness. According to the Kennel Club guidance, no mother should be too old nor should she have produced more than four litters. You will also be able to discuss with the breeder what mental stimulation and training they've done. As Ridgebacks are such a hugely active breed, needing on average around two hours of exercise a day, getting an understanding of how they manage that will help inspire and prepare you for the lifestyle changes you may need to take as your pup grows. Also, all these health checks and seeing the qualities of the parents will help you know how to tailor your pup's exercise whilst they're growing. Too much jumping or running on hard ground, especially when they're young, can be detrimental to your pup's growing joints and bones. Knowing if their parents have any form of hip or elbow dysplasia or have had injuries in the past will give you a sign of what to be extra cautious for with your pup. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I wanted to quickly let you know, if you didn't know already, that I have a completely free course called The Principles to the Perfect Puppy. In that course, I break down all of the most important things that I think you absolutely have to know and understand for you to become a high level canine leader that raises your own perfect canine companions. So if you want to go and check out my completely three principles to the perfect puppy course, there'll be a link down in the description box below. Thousands of people have taken that and had incredible success. So I can't wait to see you over there again. There'll be a link in the description box below. I'll see you on that course. Throughout your whole experience of researching, sourcing and visiting breeders, you should always feel able to ask as many questions as you need. 
any extra worries or breeding specific information you need should be able to be provided by your breeder and they should be able to be there for you in future as an extra support system this will likely go the other way around too it's pretty common that your breeder will want to check in with you in the future and see how their litter is doing if their passion is specifically breeding ridgebacks and this is likely that they'll want to take you under their wing which should be an encouraging experience depending on how far they are from you of course but some walks or social meetups can help in many ways for everyone your pup will get to see their family and have some early socialization and also it would be a great chance to fit in some well-needed exercise within a supportive community well i hope you've enjoyed today's video if so make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comment section below and don't forget if you are new here to make sure you subscribe we have two dedicated rhodesian ridgeback videos coming here every single week so i can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the fenrir rhodesian ridgeback show